Hi, my name is Susanne Greif. I'm from Germany, from Mainz, Leibniz Research Institute for Archaeology, Römisch-Germanisches Zentralmuseum. And you are here in my lab, in the XRF lab. And uh, one topic um, we are dealing with here um, is the provenancing of this gemstone, red garnet. And garnet is a fascinating material because it has a very variable chemistry. And the chemistry depends on the host rock, if it's a quartz or a marble or something else, and the geological occurrences all imprint their very uh, differentiated chemistry into the garnet. And so mm. this helps us to uh, make a good geological provenance if we find a finished antique garnet object later. And that's a specialty of our lab, to find out where ancient garnets come from. We have a good reference collection and a good database, and we have special equipment that allows us to do a lot of minimal invasive non-destructive analysis to find out if we have a nice garnet object where these garnets come from. And garnet was a very important material in particular during the early medieval period. Then it was the fashion stone for everybody. Um, it was uh, garnet decorated objects were for men and women. It was not only in the female area that garnet was used but also on swords and on bags and on very different kinds of objects. Um, we have uh, garnet, red garnet, cut in very thin slices, and um, those were a little bit used like mosaics on the surface on those um, goldsmith objects and items. And so, because there are so many items, in, uh, uh, in particular early medieval European jewelry, um, the archaeologists wanted to know where this material comes from. And there were already some sources that were telling that uh, the material comes from as far as India and Sri Lanka, already in the 5th and 6th centuries AD, during the Merovingian, the Dark Age period, <laughs> which is by no means a Dark Age. Yes. And so we were interested to, to see if we could tell something from a scientific point of view, if we could contribute to that question. And in particular, if those materials come from India and Sri Lanka, well, it means some sort of very early globalization yeah, and um, trade networks that are very interesting for us. And in that field, it is interesting to have garnets because they are very strong and solid materials that also survive during the long, long burial that objects have undergone during, well, their, their time in the soil when they are in tombs or something like that. And so they, they are very stable, they do not corrode, and so they offer us the opportunity to study them. And on the other side, they can be used as, well, as a comparison material for other materials which did not survive the long-term burial in the soil. So like spices or silks or special exotic woods that we know from some sources must also have come from India and Sri Lanka, but we do not have them because this organic material doesn't survive the long-term burial, but the garnets did. And so, well, they tell us a bit of a story concerning provenancing by chemistry for early medieval archaeology. 